one of the greatest role of the biggest nerve that I believe in, I'm not a scientist or anything like that, but the biggest nerve serves really as, it's like a highway, a highway of information from the lower body up to the head. Carrying waves of information, packets of information between your head, your heart, your stomach organs, the sacral emotions and so on. So it has a lot to do with how we feel and how we process the information as the information is being taken from this area up and then going back down and it's like this highway. So why is this is important is because if you know anything about the Alta Major that is right back here and you know that the vagus nerve is also back here, if your Alta Major is compromised, that means that the information coming from the head or coming up and to the head or from the head down is going to be bad information. So what does that mean? Is that our body may be reading information from whatever we have attached here and creating a lot of issues, thoughts, sensations, even memories of whatever is attached here, the energy that is attached to the Alta Major that our body believes is ours because it's now attached. So now it's ours and we have to work through it. So this is important because this information highway, if it's compromised, it's gonna make it even worse. But now remember our traumas also are going to tell the head and the body something is off. So if I continue to repeat the loop of being in the past traumas, the vagus nerve is going to believe that the body is being attacked when it's, it's just maybe seeing something that reminds the person of the trauma. So I know it sounds a little complicated, but it's actually very, very simple. If you haven't seen the Alpha Major video, I recommend that you do that. So I'm gonna give you, you know, I think if you're listening to this, you know about spirit attachments, you know what's possible with eating plants, a lot of the clients um, that I see the fine eating plants, a lot of the time they don't believe in eating plants. And they do the session and they're shocked that this is even possible. So whether you believe in it or not, if you're here, it's for reasons. So maybe you just want to know how to clear your attack major uh, and your vagus nerve without having to do some of the things that, you know, you could do spiritual bath, you could do healing sessions, you could do breath work, you could do specific massages, but really what we need is for us to be able to tell the vagus nerve and the alta major, the body's safe, you don't have to work so hard, let me come into my body, let me be present in my body and retrain the vagus and the alta major, even when you have entity attachment and ET implants, because once you retrain the body to feel safe and alive and connected and present, these things won't have anything to attach to, to tell the body something is wrong. So they might fall off or they might disappear on their own. The more that you do this, obviously you will need to do this for many, many days, perhaps even months, a couple of months daily doing this in order for you to get the most out of this. But whether you're gonna do healing session, therapy, um, psychedelics, whatever, Sometimes people think, okay, I'm gonna go do psychedelics and that's gonna take care of the problem. No, because sometimes the problem is that you don't even know there is a problem. So you're not able to focus on that area when you're doing the psychedelics because you're completely looking at the magical things in psychedelics sometimes. People get lost in the beauty of it so that they forget that they have issues that they need to work through and they just go with the flow, okay? I'm just gonna go here where the rainbows are so it's very hard to focus on the issues because you tend to be like, oh my God, this is possible. And then two weeks later, you're back to the same issue. So if you have 
issues interpreting information, if you have issues feeling like your body is always tense or anxious or rigid or feeling small, or if you have a feeling that something just is really heavy here, or if you do meditation and then you notice, oh my God, I feel like something is here, like I can feel it actually. And that might be your body letting you know there is something here, energy stock that we need to move, whether it is from trauma, spirit attachments, or ET implants, right? So it could be a combination of those things or physical injury to the area or whatever it may be. So one of the quick ways that you could do this every day, five minutes every day, is by simply closing your eyes and you're gonna start breathing from your stomach. So you're gonna use first, use your, just your nose and then we're gonna continue with the mouth for a few minutes. So this is gonna purify. Now you're gonna do this for a couple of minutes, maybe a minute, minute and a half, and then you're gonna go into your mouth. So it's like panting. Some people might call this the breath of fire or conscious connected breathing or heart center breathing. Doesn't matter what you call it. You're first you're purifying the nostril, the energy, the air pathway, and then you're going to use your mouth only so you can focus on your emotions. So when we use the nose only, sometimes we tend to get lightheaded too fast and we might be purifying, but we don't even know what we're purifying. But when you start using your mouth, especially, you're going to tap into your, because the breath of fire is more to move toss and sow. You could do it to come into your body and feel your body and sensations. When you're doing the mouth um, energy, um, breath work, you're going to really start working with your emotions. That's why I love the mouth breathing technique because you start working you become more aware of your sensations and emotions attached to those sensations if you're curious so <sighs> just make sure that this is you have plenty of space here to do the breath work so that you're not like this but you like this or like this <sighs> and just feel your stomach and your heart going up and down and you're gonna do it deeply. And then you can also do it deeper and slower. And you're going to focus on really moving the energy. So this is conscious, connected, circular breathing. So that when you're doing the breath, you're going to also really tighten your perfect area and tighten that area so the energy at the bottom at the root chakra doesn't have space to go down but to go up it has to go up and if you need to you can put in your hands here just make sure that you and you're moving that energy once you do it for a minute you're going to stop and take deeper breath and feel the energy rising to the solar going up 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 and then when you feel it coming here really go deeper and faster and visualize yourself moving that energy you can even use your hands it might be too much to do everything all at once but do one thing at a time until you get within a week you're going to be able to do everything then within a month, you're gonna be able to move the energy, move, move the energy. And you can feel it in your hands leaving, leaving you. So this is a very beautiful experience. I really hope that you take advantage of it. This is, honestly, this is one of the best way that I think that we can clear the vagus nerve and the alpha major at the same time so that information can flow. New neurons can be built and you can feel amazing in your life and you start feeling in your body. You want to come into your body. And while you're doing this towards the end, I am safe in my body. I am alive. I feel happy. I feel connected and really feel that in your body. And you're retraining your body to all the organs to be in harmony with those statements. So basically you're self-hypnotizing yourself. 
Maybe you want to start there. I am safe in my body and just hold that. I am safe, right? So you're going to think that while you're taking the breath. And feel what that feels like in your body to feel safe in your body. All right, I'm going to leave it here and I'll see you all on the next one. Thank you so much.